So I really like this book, Geek Love by Catherine Dunn. I haven't read this since um, my freshman year of college, so after my To Kill a Mockingbird um, fiasco yesterday, I'm kind of nervous to talk about the plot. All I really remember is that it's about this uh, family in a freak show, and the main character, I think it's in first person. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But um, anyway, the main character is, um, yeah, it's, it's first person. And the main character is this girl who has a tail, and um, her family is like really weird. There's a baby that has, the baby in the family has like psychic powers, and um, it's just like, there's something to do with like, the f they, they like tried to make them mutants, the parents, something with like genetics or, I mean like toxic waste or, I don't remember, but, <laughs> and I don't want to be like, Boo Radley did it, <laughs> so like, I'm not gonna say anything. But uh, this book fucking is so awesome. I just remember eating this shit up, um, and, uh, I don't know. A lot of my favorite authors are women. A lot of my favorite books are written by women. I think, I don't know, they're better writers than men. I don't know. There are some great, you know, male authors like Philip Roth and um, Truman Capote and James Joyce, Shakespeare. But um, anyway, this book is awesome. It's really weird. It's kind of like a, I don't know, maybe like a David Lynch movie. Not really. Um, at first, I, you know, after, I've only read this once, and I didn't really like it when I read it, but over the years, I, it's like just really, I've thought about it a lot, and when I did read it, I did like it, I mean, you know, subconsciously. I think when I was younger, it was harder for me to tell if I could like something or not. Like I was saying, I didn't like Eraserhead in high school, but I had it. Like that's how I was with a lot of shit. Um, I didn't really know how to judge things, but now I have my own tastes and my criteria for what's good and what isn't, I don't know. And this book definitely holds up. I mean, I'm probably going to try to read it again. But like I said in the other video, I just don't have a lot of time to read anymore, which is unfortunate. And, you know, things will slow down. But anyway, yeah, if you ever want to read a fucking awesome, twisted, crazy-ass book, read Geek Love by Catherine Dunn. Fucking Boo Radley, man. <laughs> he fucking kills everybody at the end. <laughs>